all of us. Blink our eyes. And this is us collectively with our eyes closed, just listening to each other, not able to see the color of the skin. This is us as the human race with our eyes closed. Everyone wants to be woke. Stop changing the definition of words to fit the generation that we are in. This is part of the confusion evil puts before you, changing the definitions of words. Do your own research and find out what the word woke means not in a slang term, in the dictionary. Do not be confused by the tricks of society. Open your eyes and see what God has for you. It's the same thing God has for everyone. But right now, this is us with our eyes closed as the entire human race, God's race, and we are meditating. We are listening to each other. We are using social media as God's outlet, God's center. Because we are one race, God's race, the human race. And this is us with our eyes closed, listening and hearing what God has to say to all of us because the Holy Spirit is here right now to bring about spiritual endowment spiritual wisdom spiritual countenance for the entire human race this is us all as humans with our eyes closed and with your eyes closed you cannot see the one you hate. With your eyes closed, you cannot see the one you love. With your eyes closed, all you know is we are all human and we all have made mistakes. With our eyes closed, all we see is what God has for the spiritual sight because our eyes are closed and once you open your eyes remember what you saw with your eyes closed are you willing to give God your time this is you with your eyes closed what are you thinking about what are you doing are you renewing your mind are you thinking about what is to come or are you thinking about what has already happened and how that has affected you what are you willing to do to move forward and find God for yourself are you asking God for the strength are you asking the Holy Spirit to give you countenance are you asking for a spiritual endowment are you asking for spiritual wisdom? Are you asking for things that are not seen by man, not seen by woman, not seen by child? Are you asking God to give you physical health on this earth? Are you asking God to give you all that you need here on this earth in the name of Jesus? Dig deeper. Ask God to become more of your own self and less of this world. Ask God as you lay there with your eyes closed in God. Since you are in the palm of God's hand. Since Jesus has shown the way. Since Jesus has given us the living word. What are we doing with this as we lay with our eyes closed? 
As we sit in meditation with our eyes closed, as we sit at the desk with our eyes closed for a brief moment, are we communicating with God in the name of Jesus? Are we asking Jesus to fill all the voids in our life? Are we asking Jesus to be that void so there is no void because God created all and Jesus has shown us all the way, the truth, the light, the life, the will, and the method and the strategy in which God has laid before us. Are we willing to travel down that path as we lay down and as we rest? This is what God has for us. Are we willing, are we truly willing to help each other out? As the human race, God's race, God's creation, technology is God's creation. Man created technology because God created man. God knows all, sees all because God is Omni, encompassing all. Allow God to encompass you as you rest. Will you rest comfortably in the palm of the hand of God? Will you seek God as you rest? Will you seek God as you lay there? Will you seek God as you meditate? Will you seek out God as you focus in on your job? What is holding us back from bringing each other closer to the Lord? What is stopping us from bringing each other closer to God? We need not see each other to feel each other. We need not know the language of the next person to understand the language of God that is within this person. We are one race, God's race, the human race, God's creation. We all come from the uncreated. We all stem from Adam and Eve. Every human on this earth, every human on this planet. This is you with your eyes closed. Are you thinking in this way? And if you find yourself wandering off course, ask God for the spiritual discipline it takes to meet all the prerequisites that life has set before us by God. All of this is God's creation. All of this is God's creation. Never forget, all of this is God's creation. And then man uses free will to do what they want with God's creation. Stop blaming God. Stop blaming Jesus. Stop blaming the Holy Spirit for the choices that we make as the human race collectively. Not as an individual, but collectively. Yes, we try to separate ourselves as individuals, but we are not separated all of us breathe the same air never forget we are one race God's race the human race be blessed and stay phenomenal and let God in so that God may plan strategically for your life or your life will strategically plan for you amen Amen. Amen.